Hey guys, so we're back on this 10 double E. Uh, I've taken a little bit of a break from it. Uh, I've got a bunch of other projects that I have been juggling that have been a priority over this project. So I apologize for uh, having uh, been not, you know, following up on some of this, this stuff. I know there's been a lot of interest in what, what's the issue with the gear noise that's in here. So we address that gear noise today. So we'll give you a little uh, peek into what that's all about. As soon as I'm done with this, then I, I'm going to start on the um, on the tailstock and uh, get that refurbished, painted, mounted on here. The follow rest and steady rest I'll do, and a couple other little odds and ends. So you see, I got the uh, covers painted and mounted on, front covers as well and the rear cover, which I'll, I'll show you. Then uh, we're going to do a little machining project. Uh, I, I lost a little part from the tailstock that I have to make, so uh, I mean, I'm sure I could find one, but it's going to be more fun to make it, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to be moving this machine into position where my current 10WE is, because I'm going to be putting this one into service and, and selling the other one. And the only reason why I'm doing that, because I actually think the other machine might be in a little bit better shape in terms of number of hours on it, uh, you know, it definitely is a quieter, a quieter machine than this one. But this one has a taper attachment and an electric lead screw where the other one does not. And then I'm going to be doing um, some. Uh, I'm going to get the tubes into the 30 inch, get that fired up so you can see that run. I'm not going to do any cleanup on it. I have a fellow that's interested in, in buying it just the way that it is. Um, I'll let you know if, should that fall through, uh, you know, then, then the, the 30 inch will be available. So we'll, we'll do a little bit of work on that one to, to show you it running. So let's get started on showing you what happened on this machine with the gear noise. And it's a short video. Appreciate you watching. And I try to follow this up with a little bit more regular content. But again, work and other projects are uh, messing around with my hobby, which is, um, you know, unacceptable. <laughs> so, hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Hey guys, so let me just give you an idea where I'm at. So, uh, I finished up getting these panels painted and mounted on. I. Uh, took all these pieces off and polished them, put them all back on. I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out. I got the front panels on, cleaned everything up. I cleaned up and painted this guy. So that looks good. And there's the back. So sorry for the lighting. Anyway, it looks great. You can see it's on right now. And I'll tell you why, because I've been working on that gear noise. If you remember, um, you know, we had that issue where we had a lot of, uh, lot of gear noise uh, when, I, and when I had it set for threading. So I went back in and uh, you know what? I'm going to take you over to the other lathe and I'm going to show you something. Well, I'm going to show you what, where I was working. Okay, guys, so this is the 30 inch and I'm just going to show you. So I took off this, this plate right here. And if you remember from a previous video, the... Um, there's a bunch of gears back there. Uh, actually, I think there's three three gears that you can see, like uh, with a one that's adjustable. So I'm going to show you what I found. So right here in the book, this is where uh, these gears are behind that um, that panel. And so this gear is adjustable. And what I found initially, if you remember from the previous video, I had a huge gap right there, um, almost almost so much of a gap it was disengaged didn't really check this guy but if you look here you pull this gear off you got these two screws and they basically tell you right uh there you adjust uh you loosen those screws and you adjust it for clearance between the teeth so i did that and i measured there and it was pretty close to to three thousands i was under the mistaken belief that I'm only adjusting the engagement between these two, that this is already fixed, but that's not necessarily true. 
as I move this thing up, you actually tighten both. So I, I had more than three thousandths here. So what I did on, on this lathe is I tightened this up to less than three thousandths and got uh, probably three here. This still had some clearance, but it, uh, I, was, I, I took up a lot of slop on this one. So let's go back over to the machine and I'll show you what it sounds like now. Okay, so you see I have it up and running and I have it set uh, on back gears, threading. This one here is set for threading. This is set for right hand threads. And then I have the electric lead sc screw also set for right hand threads. So the reason why I have it in back gear because this seems to be you know, between the back ears and the, you know, the gear train noise that I was having in the headstock is the noisiest um, setting that I could be on. So uh, come over here, we'll engage the machine. So there we are right there. And you notice there's no gear noise. I'm completely quiet. I mean, it's just the back ear noise you're really hearing. So that's pretty good, actually. And you remember, the lower the speed, the more rattling it was making. So now it's it's actually very quiet. I, we'll see, you know, when I edit this video, how loud it sounds. But I could tell you, it's it's really quiet. So let's bring it up a little bit. Right here's the speed control, and we'll engage the lead screw. You can see we're spinning right there. And we'll come over here. We'll engage the half nuts. So we're in right now. Nice and quiet. Okay. So I got to tell you, I'm pretty stoked that it was just an adjustment and I, uh, you know, spent a little too much time overthinking. So, uh, what I'm going to do next is the, uh, the tailstock refurb. So, uh, I'll do a couple videos on that or a video and I'll bring you back for that. But I'm happy with what we got going on. Well, let's just for ha-has, we'll throw it in reverse. Same thing in reverse. Here's our reverse speed. Nice and quiet. And don't forget, we're we're in, uh, you know, threading, threading mode. And you know what? Just for uh, comparison, I will throw it into uh, belt. Okay, so let's get our settings over to belt. So our feeds, I, I should say, we'll put it in, uh, we'll take it out of back ear as well. And get this in over here, sorry for the. All right, I have to get. I'm gonna have to put you down for a second so I can get that thing into uh, belt. Okay, so now we're back in belt. I'm gonna turn the speed down because we're on out of uh, back ear, so. Uh, what do I got happening? I'm not fully engaged here. There we go, okay. Okay. That clicking that you hear is that, that relay down there. Do you remember that? Uh, my other lathe does that too. I might see if that's normal. I'll call Monarch and see. They both do it. And this is reverse. And again, we'll speed this guy up down here.
yeah, that definitely is a strange sound with that <laughs> relay clicking. But like I said, my other machine does it. Um, all right, so uh, I'm pretty happy with, with where we're at right now.